Greetings, mortals, and all you lovers of love out there. Hope you are having a delicious and delightful Tuesday. Let's crank this. Let's crank this love bite down a little. Boop, boop, boop. Hey, hey, D20s. Is it D20s or tail of D20s? What's up? Is that, is that, hey, is that, is that Omar behind, behind the handle? What's up? Hey, hey, how you doing? Where's my, where's my face? Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Oh my gosh, here we are. We're, we're in it. I, that's good, actually. I nailed it. Got in one. Good levels. Good lo-fi, good everything. Uh, <laughs> welcome back, baby cakes, to the fun, to the madness, to the mystery that is uh, today. Oh, it's loud. It's loud in my ears, though. I gotta gotta let it know. Gotta let it know. It's loud in my ears. Cool, cool, cool. Thanks for stopping by before your work meeting. I hope that it is. Uh, not boring. Uh, though I, I doubt that that is likely. <laughs> Meetings? Blah. Uh, goodness gracious. Oh gosh. Here we are. I, there's a lot of shit on my screen now. Uh, I got, I got a little customizey happy. Uh, over the uh, time between uh, Wednesday and today, uh, you might notice that above me is a little a little goal tracker. Um, I got really excited uh, to get to 200 followers. Holy shit! How cool is that? I'm at 201 now, thanks to uh, the push from everybody over at Utility 20s and Amateurish Productions and just me being obnoxious on the internet. Um, so I thought, let's keep that party train going and make a little like clicker. So we got, we, we're, we're, we're working toward 210 now. And then after 210, who knows what? Just every, every day. That follow me. Pay attention to me. Notice me, internet senpais of the world. Be my friend. Listen to my stories about life and love and wrestling. Here we go. Um, we also uh, have a new... Uh, hold on, see if I can like get it correct. Uh, a new best friend here. I, I, I went through the process and adopted a little pet. Uh, this is Buckaroo. And hi, Sketchy! Sketches, I'm introducing everyone to Buckaroo, this little kitty um, right here. Oh, I'm gonna see if I can like give him a little pet. This is going badly for me. Um, I uh, was really inspired by other streamers and uh, stuff they are doing. Um, to make our our engagement, our community a little a little more deeply interactive. Um, so we got like some 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 goals to set. Um, yeah, little, my little main coon friend named Buckaroo. Uh, Buckaroo comes to us with the name Buckaroo because uh, we're gonna we're gonna take the long way around. Here we are, just just chatting, everybody, just chatting. We'd love to see it. Uh, Buckaroo uh, came to me right r right after I learned that this year at New York City's uh, LGBTQIA plus comic book convention, uh, FlameCon, is featuring the one and only prolific author, Chuck Tingle, um, as as their like guest of honor this year. And I lost my mind. Yeah, yeah, feed Buckaroo treats. So anyway, um, Buckaroo is named because I love Chuck Tingle. I adore Chuck Tingle so much. So this is Buckaroo. Um, and you can, as Sketches has already uh, shown, uh, <laughs> you can feed Buckaroo. Uh, you can give Buckaroo water. And when you give Buckaroo water, I will also drink water. Cheers to little Buckaroo. Um, also, <laughs> you just, oh, I gotta put on a hat also. Uh, I, 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 I gotta put on a hat, cause I have, uh, anyway, so that's Buckaroo. Uh, you can check the channel points or champ muse as they're called here uh, in, in the quirky verse. 
Oh no, is it the quirky verse? I hate that. Is it the quirky verse? Fuck. Um, here in the quirky verse, uh, you've got a lot of a lot of things you can make me do now. Uh, not just like the typical stuff. Uh, fix my posture. Make me make me stretch it out. Always always good. Spend those channel points making me stretch. My body hits the ground a lot now, so stretching perfect. Uh. Oh. Uh, Hats off to you, which is I gotta put on a hat, which I a sketch. I promise I will see to that. I didn't grab it. I'm gonna grab. You see that? You see that sun hat over there? I'm gonna go put that sun hat on. Uh, <laughs> that's what's gonna happen. Um, then you've got all the Buckaroo stuff. Uh, you can challenge Buckaroo to rock paper scissors, which is really cute. Um, for 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 a few more champ mews, uh, you can make me cut a wrestler style promo on an in-game character um so there's that uh and, or you can put me in sing mode for five minutes is that how long sing mode goes hold on is that is that correct what is it yeah singing voice for five freaking minutes okay sketches you've you've really okay i'm gonna go get a hat give me two seconds I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to put on like a screen to like step away so you don't see my butt. Grabbing a sun hat. Not that I care if you see my butt or anything. Uh, you can go. You can go check out my wrestler account and show. I'm showing ass over there, all over the place. Uh, cool. All right. I have to put on my headphones and then a sun hat. <laughs> you did it, Sketches. You made me wear a hat. Now I have to keep this hat on. Uh, thanks, Nightbot. Uh, what else? Treats? Uh, the quirk. Oh, I like the quirk dimension. I appreciate you making sure it all worked. I was testing it as well uh, to make sure that everything was great. Uh, is that all? Uh, hats off, treats for buckaroo, water buckaroo. Oh, and I got a stretch. Ooh, oh yeah, good stretch. Oh yeah, 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 ooh. Congratulations for putting me in a sun hat. That's how it works. Um, so that's, those are all of the new uh, Champ Mew redemptions that you can use and hopefully abuse uh, to make my life a little more interesting and a little bit harder. Uh, beautiful. <laughs> oh no. Uh, if anybody has any other ideas of what they wanna make me do via uh, channel points, let me know. Cause I just kind of made stuff up I'm pretty excited about the, the cutting a promo. Like, I'm gonna have to try and like challenge myself to cut like quick 30 second promos against hopefully the denizens of wildflowers. Uh, so we'll see. I'm I'm getting I'm getting readjusted, sitting with sitting with good posture. Uh, <laughs> this hat is ridiculous. It's just the first hat I saw. Um, so a little, a, a little bit of extra news uh, outside of the Twitch space. Uh, my my wrestling alter ego, a a being that takes over my body uh, in in situations where stripping and wrestling is required, uh, had her first tag team match over this past weekend, uh, and we won. Who knew? did it victorious so that is now a battle royale and a tag team match that one charles stunning has a uh, has championed um so i'm very excited um very motivated uh a, a, a little cringed uh you know because we're st we're still learning the the art of the squared circle and 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 you know some some sometimes it's a lot to do <laughs> wrestling it's 
the hardest honestly for me the hardest part of wrestling has been my like getting my brain to do what I want it to you know like that that conversation between brain and and bod it's it's tough um but uh, so like I definitely to give you a little like bit of inside I got a little a little lost um during the match but I was aided assisted guided um by those around me and that's one of the greatest things that I learned from this weekend is that everybody wants everybody to do their best and look good and nobody's gonna like dick you over to make themselves look better you know because if they make you look bad they also look bad this is a very like I, I, I'm constantly like wrestling is such a symbiotic relationship you know uh, and it, it really shows so really feeling like I got thrown into the deep end but it, it, what what about that in wrestling with me is anything new <laughs> that is just the consistent it's a consistent uh, timbre of it um, I'm not ready oh well let's go uh, good stuff though good great stuff hello lo-fi uh, oh yeah thanks lo-fi girl for the for the tunes as as per usual. Uh, right now we're listening to lonely days that felt great it felt like a great choice for uh uh for for valentine's uh it's a it's all a learning process and the culture is much better oh yeah the culture at my school is unbelievable just the kindest folk you know yeah yeah it's frustrating because i'm learning and like i want to be so much further along than i am and it's just like we're uh, we're getting there and stuff but like i go in and i feel loved and supported and i have love and support to give everybody else um we were sorry i bumped my mic we were uh working on our hand our headstands in the turnbuckle um where essentially you like run into the corner and flip your your head into like either the middle or the top buckle and you do and you do a and you do a headstand right there and like i don't have abs i've never heard of abs what are you talking about um but like each time i i go in i run into that buckle flip up it, it gets a little bit better step by step um and there was this one day where i was just like running it again and again and again and again and, and just someone said, we want you to get this. We want you to succeed. So like succeed, you know, and it's, it's really nice to know that that's, that's what we all want for each other, our, our success. You know, I, I don't really feel like anybody is showing up with an intention to, to bury anybody else, at least, at least not on purpose, obviously like, <laughs> us new kids got to learn how to sell how to how to do all of this safely in order to lift up and support but it's never i don't i don't want you to win we we all want each other to like succeed and win and 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 pump each other up it's it's one of the best things about the school i go to uh yeah um i honestly the meanest person at school to me is me <laughs> I'm very mean to me at school, uh, and and coach won't have that. Coach won't allow it. <laughs> For better or worse, coach will not <laughs> will not tolerate my my self deprecation and my self doubt, and that's that's cool. Uh, but yeah, so that's that's the wrestling life. That's. That's what's been going down. Um, I'd much rather talk about wrestling uh, than than break up with someone today. Uh, but we gotta, we gotta do, we gotta do that work. So let's see if we can get that a going. Hello, hi. Just wait. Pause for a second. Just pause for a moment as I 
Get the get out, get out of here, Lo-Fi. You're done. Get on gone. Um, I will say I'm in uh a little bit of a tender headspace today. Uh see previous statement about I'm the meanest person to me at Wrestle School. Um, I'm feeling a little mean to myself. Um uh, part partly because of the the showcase and like yes I feel really good and I feel like I swam in a situation where like drowning was maybe an option um but you know like I'm still rough and working on it hi Wonka hi uh well, welcome to the thing. You need to go to the post office. I'll join properly once I'm back. No worries. Enjoy the post office if you can. Oh, the post office. I tell ya. Oh, thanks, Nightbot. I will drink some water. Nightbot is also still here to tell me to drink water, but y'all can too. Just make me hydrated. Uh, Give give Buckaroo some water. I will give water. Oh, we haven't recorded the Infinity Podcast yet. Uh, We're going to record that later this afternoon because... Uh, life um we see again see previous shit about wrestling and stuff and like scott's got a million things going on so we're doing our best to try and get it together uh life it gets life it finds a way to get everywhere all up in your business all up in your life um brian Brian, brain me mean here too. Don't worry, friend. Yeah, it's just it's it's that dissonance between I know what I should be doing to what am I actually doing. My my worst right now. Like I mean everything's kind of a mess for me. Like I'm still just kind of like building the puzzle pieces for like maneuvers and shit. But like this very basic thing, a bump, just taking a back bump. Just a bump. Fall down on your back. Do do do. La la la. Love it. It should be easy, right? Um I just am really struggling like getting that 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 sweep. That sweep of my feet right there um to like Really make that impact. Oh, Buckaroo's taking a nap. I'm losing my marbles about that. Um, I got distracted by the pet, by our channel pet. Um, but yeah, I'm just really struggling with it. And I, like, I know, I know what to do. Like, I know that that's how it works. But just, like, the discussion between up here and my little tootsies just they're not they're not communicating um and that's and that's just my brain and that's and that's what's laying the wrestling is setting me up real high today and laying me real low today so uh like you do like any like any learning journey you know when when you feel like you should be further you know um so there's that don't worry i cry at wrestle school all the time Over these things. Because I just want to. I just really want to be good at this. I really want to be good at this. And I really want to make people smile. Oh boy. Uh, I'm dyspraxic. So that is super relatable. Hi random. Yeah it's just. If I have to think about it. Which I'm still in the process of. With all of this stuff. It. It. it it it's difficult and once I move it all from up in my brain down into like my heart and my body like once I'm muscle memorying it I, I I imagine that I will be relatively unstoppable uh <laughs> that's just what I imagine because that's that's where I'm falling apart just doing them right and doing them safe but that's just Doing it again and again and again and again and again. Uh, I th I was like, I'm done talking about wrestling school. Let's break up with this game character. And I'm still talking about wrestling school. Good crew. Good people. Good stuff. I'm sure we'll, I'm sure we'll continue talking about all of that. 
um, as we go. Also, I am wearing this hat for those who are just joining um, because you can make me wear hats if you want to in the channel points. If someone if someone if someone engages that, I will switch hats. <laughs> I have a lot of weird hats. I'll have to go find. I'm gonna have to have like a box of hats on the side now. I'm gonna have to hide like so I can like swap them. But right now we're wearing a sun hat. And that's nice. And that feels good. Um okay, let's get this game going. Uh uh, uh hello. Oh no. Okay, I'm gonna disconnect. Reconnect. Ugh. Course. I spoke too soon. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Good, good, good. It's like, hello? Okay. All right, let's check our tasks for today. A wonderful introduction. Head over to the Coven Circle to attend Francis's initiation, which we'll do tonight. Silent treatment, make a silencing potion to help out Wesley. Do we have that in the basement? Let's take a peek. Are we going in fast time? <gasps> what? Love that. Okay, we got the silencing potion. Uh, we gotta keep working in the mine. You're breaking me up. Speak to Francis about the proper way to break up with Damon. Not excited about that part. Not excited at all. Uh, pretty sad about it, if I'm gonna be honest. I, I, I wanted to say I'm not interested in our date and just put it there. Um... And then we'll just and then we'll just give Damon lots of booze. We went on one date. He can't be sad about this. Oh, I gotta buy bait. I gotta buy uh, bait for the fish too. So bait for the fish. Talk to Francis. Uh, break up with Damon. Uh, make our dreams come true. Make some cheese. Make some cheese like you do. Uh, I want to hang on to the glass. Maybe make butter? Let's craft some butter. How much more time on these silkworms? 15 hours. Cool. And then I'll set up both silkworms at the same time. Okay, for you. How are my baby? How are my chickens doing? Is Feedy on the mission right now? Also, uh, while I've got a moment, let's set day speed to relax so I've got time to do all the things I want to do. Tendy! Petting Tendy. Sweet little Tendy. Uh. Oh. I looked over at my, uh, my stream setup and I saw Buckaroo again. I just love them. Sweet little Buckaroo. Do you need feed and stuff? Are you good? Alright. Yeah, we'll get you more, uh... More feed. Oh, right! I got two sheep now. Oh, I love them. I need another cow, too. I gotta have a cow, man. Boop. Could've used the gate. Didn't. Oh, uh, planty. I need you to water shit for me. Thanks. How about you do it for five hey, days? Planty. Water some plants for me today? Water my plants. Oh, 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 no, oops. Well, those are watered. It's fine. Planty, I got it. We're a team. Let's plant some other off season. Yeah, let's plant some cotton for a little bit. Got a lot of wheat for making fishy fingers. Fish fingies. Give me this. Who 
will help me plant the wheat. Not I. Fuck you, cat. Whatever. Just, I'm just living my own little fairy tale life in my head right now. <laughs> Thinking about Chicken Little? No, not. Wait, who's the. Which one is the chicken that's making the bread? Chicken Little th see, thinks the sky is falling. It's the little red hen that wants to make bread, right? I've been experimenting with more metal-worked art. Oh, I wish I had the space for a proper sculpture garden. Um, make me all the silver ingots, all the gold ingots. Like, eh, yeah, and a bunch of iron ingot. Whatever, it's cool. I have no idea, lol. Wait, what did I say? Oh, with the thingy. Ugh, I have to wait another day before I can talk to Francis? Francis has been fluttering around me like a mother hen lately. There's nothing wrong with me, I'm fine. Finey, fine, fine. You were possessed by demons. So, I don't think you're fine, but I honestly think you should be worried about it. Okay. Well, Francis's shop isn't open today, which is not ideal because I really need to break up with Damon today, of all days. I guess I'll have to break up with Damon I didn't tomorrow. Know Hazel for long, but I know she'd love what you've done with the farm. Thanks, Kim. Appreciate you. Doctors isn't open today either. What is today? Monday? In the game, tis Monday. Oh, I guess we go to the fairy zone today. Wait, is anything open in the fairy zone? You don't miss winter in the city, I'll tell you that. The first snowfall was always beautiful. But before you knew it, there was nothing but gray slush and deep ice puddles on every street corner. Yeah, that's true. I just realized Buckaroo's in the way of the caption, so I might have to move Buckaroo in a minute. No, I'm not gonna interrupt school. Why would I do that? Uh, to the fairy zone! To give our werewolf friend its potion. So the bait shop isn't open today, so I'm actually going to make an executive decision and speed up time again. Because I'd like to just get to Tuesday. Is anybody open? Yeah, what's up? I got potion for you. Got something for you, Wesley. Stop oh, howling. God, thank you. It was really kind of you to help me like this. Hey, it helps us too. If the Fairhaven folks are this upset about witches, I can't imagine what they'll do if they find out that there is a werewolf close to their town. I'm sorry if I caused you any trouble with your neighbors. Yeah. Thanks, bud. I understand the witches more than the Fae. You're caught between two worlds too. Wait, why? I, Cause I'm like chill? Because I'm vibing? Or because I'm uh, like a witch person and I got like person and witch under my belt. I never need to summon small things like that. Alright. Everybody else is closed today, so... Let's go to the mine, I guess. When in doubt, go to the mine. Yeah, let's go to the mine for like a little bit and then we'll go down to the beach and uh, see if we can grab some pearls. So we definitely need pearls for uh, like everything. 
Breaking up with Damon is taking forever. She doesn't need Francis' shop to be open. Probably to buy like a piece of breakup jewelry or some nonsense. Y'all, should I play more EWR tomorrow? That's a question I've got. Because I read all the rules last Wednesday, which is so funny. I need to put that up on VOD forever. Because it was, it was such a weird, wild time. But I started playing. And even though I read all of the rules, I have none idea what I'm doing. Oh! oh thank you for the treat for Buckaroo! Aw, oh, Bucker says, what a treat. Did you get this at the pet cafe? <laughs> Thanks for feeding my pet. Oh, let's take a drink to Buckaroo and to all of you. Gosh, I love little Buckaroo sitting there chilling. Food always needs juice. Correct. Absolutely correct. I don't have any babes. Nope. Made. No, I just want to pick this up. <clears throat> yeah, I don't have any bait because I gave it all the fish bot. And the fish bot used it all. So I get more. The shop isn't open for it. Which is a tragedy. Cool. We've got until seven before we need to like hustle out of the mine to go get the initiation ceremony for Francis all done. Because Francis is a witch and I think everybody else in town's going to be a witch too at some point. That's my prediction. I no, babes. I'm not fishing. I'm not fishing. I'm hitting rocks. Also, anybody out there watching any uh, Tokyo Joshi Pro Wrestling? Because I am. This morning, my partner woke me up and we watched a tag match. It was uh, Maki Ito and... I don't have no. any big... Uh, Oh gosh, who was it? I started talking about it and now. I no, I, I know. I just want to pick up the silver, please. Thank you. Um, who was it? It was Maki Ito and the tag partner that Maki has a lot. Miu. Yeah, I think so. And then it was uh, May Saint Michel and Yuki Kamifuku. Uh, and it was. Such a funny match. Uh, Mesa Michel is like dropping trays on everybody. <laughs> and then Maki you know, takes the takes this serving tray that, that Mesa Michel has and just like smacks herself in the head with it. I am obsessed with Yuki Kamifuku. I want to steal everything she's doing. I, ugh. Everything. Everything in the whole world. Uh, hold on. We're gonna we're gonna dip into like a little a little zone, and we're gonna talk. We're gonna we're gonna talk a little about Yuki Um I'm just I'm I'm pulling up. Yuki. She's so gorgeous. I just can't. I just can't 
Damn. Sorry, now I'm just like, now, now I'm just on Google looking at Yuki Kamifuku and just going, I'm stealing everything this beautiful babe is doing. Um, in that match, uh, she was also wearing opera gloves and peeled one off. And my partner was like, you should do that. And I was like, I did do that. In my tag match, I wore opera gloves. And when it was time for me to like, throw some lines I pulled that glove off and started wailing on my opponent it was very silly uh who's your favorite Joshi the sketches uh tell me more tell me more we should watch wrestling all of us like we should figure out how to do that that'd be very fun um but yeah I was losing my freaking marbles oh we gotta go do the initiation ceremony we gotta get out of here Yuna Munase? Cool. I had just started watching uh, Joshi because we, like, two weeks ago got uh, Wrestle Universe. So we've been slowly, like, I watched all of Wrestle Princess 3, um, and that was fun. I'm obsessed with the Up Up Girls. Uh, And I'm, and I'm going to struggle, like, with all their names for a while. But the one who does the big swing, she's got the ponytail. Uh, Mi Watanabe? Is that it? Uh, it's just a better service now. Wish I had the time. Yeah, no. <laughs> and Coach yesterday was just like, watch wrestling. It's really going to help. If you just watch wrestling, just watch it. Just watch it. And I'm like, oh, no. I have under direct orders to watch Tokyo Joshi Pro because that's the shit I want to take. Like, I love it. <laughs> I'm obsessed. Hyper Misao and her battle bike. Fuck. Fuck, y'all. Oh, boy. Uh, I'm really going to get into watching a lot of Karen Watches Wrestling to get a good idea of everybody's whole fucking deal. Um... Cause who knows? Maybe, maybe if, 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 if I work hard and I put myself out there, it's, it's not, it's not, what's wild to me is that it's not impossible that maybe someday in a couple years, maybe I could wrestle in Tokyo Joshi Pro. It could happen. Maybe. Who knows? I don't. But maybe. One of my one of my classmates was uh was out there um a minute ago uh doing doing a tag team match. Uh she's been crushing it. Tiara, I don't know if you've seen her in any dark matches or anything, but she's out there just like fucking nailing it. I have my wand and the incantation adept. Then you are ready to be initiated. You will need a sponsor. Usually it is someone in the initiates family, but Tara. Will you sponsor me? Of course, Francis. I would be honored. Thanks. Initiate Francis, take your place in the wheel. Novice, take your place beside him. Initiate, you seek new knowledge, but with it comes a sacred duty. Who brings forward this initiate to join our coven? Uh, I do. As the great wheel turns, so must we take our part. Here where our ancestors stood before us and where others will follow when we are gone. Enter our circle, for this is the hour. A fair haven witch comes into his power. Uh-oh. Is one of those things going to escape again? No, but we must maintain our offerings to keep the wellspring balanced. Welcome, Initiate. We now have enough in our number to turn the season, but we still need to collect an adder stone from the gloaming. Yes! I know what those look like. Let me help. I am the resident of the Gemini Square around here, after all. Very well. The novice will accompany you. Tara, you should prepare and head to the gloaming when you're ready. Yeah, let's go to the gloaming. Head to the gloaming and find an adder stone. Will do. <gasps> We're best friends. I'm sorry. Uh, into the gloaming? Maybe I'll just like 
find a roster page of all the Tokyo Joshi pro wrestlers tomorrow and just like read up. Start, you know, start doing some real research on on Joshi. And you're sure this is safe? What are you going to tell Angus if I get zapped into the center of the earth or something? Nothing, because that won't happen. Promise. I was freaked out using the standing stones at first. Uh. I'm still getting, it's either this is normal for me now, or I'm still getting used to this. I'm gonna go with, I'm still getting used to this. And they still scare me a little, but they won't hurt you. Uh, it can't be worse than riding the ferry for the first time. Oof. Aw, sweet angel. Ay, Dios mio. This is amazing. In high school, we read this Shakespeare play about fairies. I loved that play. I, I used to imagine the world where the fairies lived. They don't live near here, but you're not far off. Fairies live nearby? Whoops. Someone should have told me about that. And I thought I had to deal with too many surprises at once. I know it's a lot to take in, but we have to find the Adderstone. Phew. Give me a second to compartmentalize and... I'm right behind you. Cool. We're in the gloaming. Ooh, yeah, give me that. <sighs> Can I? Ugh. Get out of here. Okay, looking for an adder stone. Do 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 do. Maybe down here? These little vines make me wanna lose. These vines make me lose my mind. Up in here, up in here. These vines make me lose my mind. Oh. Shoot. I don't think my wand is strong enough. Oh good. Sorry, we gotta get a stronger we'll wand. Back another time. I'm not complaining. That gives me more time to adjust to them. Everything? I better go see Zephyr. She upgraded my wand last time. I bet she has something in her shop. Cool. I love that. Back to where we got back to where we came from. All I want to do is just break up with this boy, and y'all gotta make me go upgrade my wand. Ooh, give me that. Nope. Give me th give me that. Yeah. Give me that nut. That wall nut. I just want to have a net so I can catch bugs. Maybe that's just my love of Animal Crossing talking, but I just love bugs. Give me that. <laughs> Give me that man trait. Get absolutely wrecked, Mayor. You're a fucking traitor to this town. Oh, wait. When is Marty's open? Because I also need more feed for my, for my chickens. Okay, cool. So open tomorrow. Good deal. When is Francis open? Francis should be... No, Francis is closed tomorrow. <laughs> I'm never going to break up with Damon. It's never going to happen. It's not true. I'll break up with Damon on Wednesday, I guess. Hi, Bobo. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having a lovely Tuesday. Oh, I'm going to pet this cat. Come here, Cleocatra. I'm going to pet you, sweet baby. Sweet baby. Hi, the Fizz! Happy Virtual Palentine's Day, indeed. Uh, everyone just joining us, I hope that you uh, are excited to meet our channel pet, 
uh, right down below me, that's Buckaroo, um, a sweet little kitty who loves treats and water and playing rock, paper, scissors with chat. Um, <laughs> you know, sometimes when when your relationship's feeling stale, you adopt, you adopt a pet. That's what you do. Uh, uh, what was I going to say? Do they also like Chuck? They are named in honor of Chuck Tingle because, uh, I know I already said this, but Chuck Tingle is going to Time be, uh, yeah, treat for buckaroo. Uh, because I discovered this last week that, uh, Chuck Tingle is going to be the guest of honor at my favorite New York, uh, nerd convention, FlameCon. Um, yeah, you have two k worth of point. Yeah, just, there's so there's so much to 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 spend. You can make me change my hat. You can make me stretch. You can make me drink, uh, uh water if you water Buckaroo. Uh, we'll both do that. You can put. You can make me sing for five minutes to sing everything I say. That one's wild. <laughs> uh, treats for Buckaroo. Oh, I'll drink some water too. When 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 Buckaroo drinks, I drink. I'm letting time fly by. That's fine. Oh, wait. Time's not flying by. Uh. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. I love, love little Buckaroo so much. Sweet little baby. Uh. But yeah, there's also, uh, you can, if you, if you want to spend 2,000 champ mews, uh, you can make me cut a promo on any character in the game, uh, that we're playing. Uh. <laughs> so that's. That's a challenge. <laughs> Fight people. Uh, a little, a little wrestling promo. So how about that superb owl and that trailer for that Batman movie guest starring the Flash? Uh, uh, you want to know something really funny? I haven't, I haven't. I haven't watched any of the trailers for any of the shit yet. We, uh, the Infinity Podcast is not convening until this afternoon when I'm done here. So I haven't taken the time to watch any of the trailers because I haven't had to yet. So I don't actually have any opinions about it. <laughs> and that's my favorite. Oh, the flash trailer is too much. I'm just... Y'all, it's been... Media properties have been a fucking slog for me as of late. Like, ever since Obi-Wan, I just... I was like, I think I'm breaking up with Star Wars. But then, like, other Marvel movies came out... And I was just like, eh, these are fine, I guess. Whatever. I think I think I've hit a real fatigue about it. Um, I don't know. So like, I haven't watched the trailers, um, and I feel like my take is really gonna be, I don't know, I'm just tired. Like we talked, we talked about the slate last week. Like James Gunn going full Nick Let's Go and just naming titles of movies they might do, maybe if they don't pull the plug for a tax break again. Um, and I'm just, I don't know. I'm hoping something's gonna like kickstart my love for these once more. But I'm mostly just like I'd rather watch the Mar I'd rather watch the Marvel TV shit. A lot of Captain Marvel fans worked themselves into a shoot thinking they were going to see a Marvel's trailer at the Super Bowl. Why would they do that though? They've got Quantum Mania coming up, you know. That's very It was very silly of them to assume. No offense, but like I don't think I just don't think their marketing team is gonna overexert themselves to that degree. 
you know, and like kill the hype for the big thing that's gonna make the money right now. The 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 Ant Man goes goes to the tiny zone. You know, Ant Man goes to the tiny zone. Uh, Creature Commando, Swamp Thing, and Waller have at the short and curlies. Uh, have I watched? Moon no, I haven't watched Moon Girl yet. That's not drop until the fifteenth. You know, a girl's got to learn to rely on herself. That's what swinging the hammer has taught me. Ever thought of picking one up? <laughs> me? Oh, no. Nope. No, no, no. Definitely not. Well, you let me know when you're ready to give it a go. Like, they have you by the sketches. You are held by the short and curlies by Commando, Swamp Thing, and Waller out of excitement? Or... Sorry, having one by the short and curlies feels uncomfortable. You know the statue of the two girls in Town Square? Yeah, I was wondering about it. They're my ancestors, Molly <gasps> and Peggy Doll. Got it, thank you, They sketches. were heroes in the Revolutionary War. My family has a lot of history on the island. It's a blessing, but it can be a lot to live up to sometimes. Makes sense. Um, I need to buy seeds from you. Oh, why am I buying out of season things? I have plenty of out of season things. I'll pl I'll plant them all eventually. Don't you worry about it. Fine. Five of everything. There we go. Okay. Uh ba ba ba. Hold on. Um so sketches you're excited about creature commando swamp thing and waller. Uh, yes, Bobo. Guardians 3 is also before Captain Marvel. Yeah, it'd be silly to, like... Did they drop a Guardians 3 trailer as well? They shouldn't be p promoting three films at once. That's fucking exhausting. The first two episodes of Moon Girl are on Disney Channel's YouTube. Oh, I thought they said they weren't dropping till the 15th. I was on Disney+. Plus. Uh, I'm glad you're excited for the things sketches i really hope swamp thing is gun at his most trauma yeah making swamp thing a trauma film would be perfection um peacemaker versus the suicide squad is a result of from waller sketches uh, oh boy y'all are going um they did drop the guardians trailer sketches says my intersection perfection is horror and comic books I love that. I love comedy and violence together. I wonder I wonder if maybe I should become a professional wrestler. Who knows? Who who knows? Who knows? Uh, okay, cool. Who snooze? Who lose? Oh, yes. Come here. Give me bait. I need so much bait, bud. Let's talk Fish first. Are my kindred spirit. We both can't hack it through life without the water. Aww. James Gunn promoting both Flash and Guardians during the Super Bowl. He's living his best life right now, says Bobo. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty big potatoes, I guess. I was playing uh, Pathfinder over at Amateurish. Uh, thanks for the treats for Buckaroo. Give me like 10 worms. Should I just buy more of these? Should I just have like a bunch? I'm gonna buy more of everything, actually. I'm gonna buy like 20. And then I'll have like 30 of everything. That should be good. Because these are cheap. Sketch is promoting the Flash must be a hard task. Oh no, I don't want to buy that many salmon. That'd be wild. Okay, cool. There we go. Now I've got a bunch of bait. Oh, they're so freaking... Yeah, sweet little Buckaroo. I love them. He's hanging out. You can challenge Buckaroo to rock, paper, scissors. Um, let's see if... Let's, let's see how it works. I can do it. I'm going to challenge Buckaroo. Dual Lil Buckaroo, also I call him Lil Buckaroo, in rock, paper, scissors. Here we go. All right, I'm gonna vote. Let's 
Scissor me daddy ass. <laughs> Fuck yeah. I don't know how this is gonna work. I'm excited to see what happens. I'd love it if the little guy gave Champ Muse to the winner. Wait. Panto won? Scissors v. Paper? But I picked scissors. Did I misspell scissors? I don't get how that works. But that was fun. <laughs> Juliet keeps arguing with me about her curfew. I can't even imagine where she wants to go. It's freezing out. The woods. Okay, I'm gonna sell things. Oh wait, I don't have any more fish fingers. Oh. I can't... I can't sell the lodkas that Sophia gave me back. The Viz says it's going to be interesting to see the Flash movie attempt to de-edge Lord Flashpoint because the original was a lot. Was it? I never I never read the original Flashpoint. I watched the first few episodes of the CW Flash where Flash goes back in time and he goes to a universe where he's actually married to the, his lady love, Iris? Iris? Isis? I forget. You brought the ingredients I asked for. They're just what I needed. I wouldn't want anyone to stay sick when I can help. I keep asking Amira to spill the botanical she's using. But she won't. Let's talk to let's talk to you. I love you. I'm not a counselor, but I think this place could use one. At least one that's not Cameron. Yeah, agreed. Can I give you, uh, would you like a cream, a, a vegan hot chocolate? Take that. Oh, um, thanks. I'm not sure if you've already seen the gifts in Murder Queen Wonder Woman from the animated adaptation. Uh, I haven't seen those, uh, the fizz. The Viz, I entered the Infinity Podcast representing the camp of the Casual. Uh, so. That's where I am. Uh, oh, there's a Nazi Aquaman? That's an ooft, indeed. What can I say but Yikers Island? Uh, Wonder Woman straight up guts Billy Batson. Whoa. Uh, like the Creature Commando issues and the Pirate Deathstroke mini. Huh. Well. Well, thanks, Nightbot. If you'd like to uh, toss me a tip, I might I might use that money to buy comic books. I don't know. Is that a segue? Did that work? Uh, thanks, Nightbot. I do appreciate, uh, uh, you know, this little passing around of the proverbial internet hat. Do what you can. Don't worry if you can't. I love you all regardless. Uh, back to the game. I want to. I want to date you, baby. I want to date this lady. Gotta break up with Damon, though. Oh, I gotta go to the... Francis is... No, your shop isn't open till fucking Wednesday. Francis, you're killing me. Killing me with this malarkey. Okay, what else do we need to do? Oh, we gotta go to... The Fairy Zone. Ooh. For the money, I'll do it, but not because I like you, Cameron. I'm going to give you copper because you're going to give me like $400. Don't think this is because we're friends. You can actually eat my ass. Oh, I was wondering if anyone actually reads the notice board in this town. <laughs> Thanks. I do. Okay, bye. I'm not talking to you. <laughs> If y'all want to play this game and become besties with Cameron, you do you. I'm not going to. Sounds way closer than friends, lol. Oh, me and the doctor? We're intimate friends now. And I want to marry her so bad. I want to marry her so bad. 
Oh, did I do both of these? Oh, I did. Oh, I was not paying attention to myself. Give me that cheese! Soon it will be cheese. <gasps> no, we're making kimchi. Fuck yeah. Now we're making kimchi. Oh, <laughs> oh it sounds like a wet blanket. Cameron, oh yeah, if Cameron got close enough to my ass, for sure. Take all those. Now go fish for me. Bring me delicious fishies. To the fairy zone. Quick, quick. Before it closes. Oh, it's already closed. Okay, never mind. I can't go see Zephyr yet. Can I get a bulletin? Ooh, yeah, I'll do that. Work on all that shit for everybody. All right, y'all like to be closed on Tuesdays, don't you? Let's get out of here. Yogurt, soon it will be cheese. Thank you. You get it. Y'all get it. I did not get a chance to check out that wrestling uh, podcast uh, by the drag queens, The Fizz. I I have not had time to even watch the latest The Last of Us. So I'm hopefully going to be able to watch everything super fast when I'm done here before getting into the podcast. Uh, so <laughs> life has been very full uh as of late see again the infinity podcast will come out later this evening Jeez, louise Ooh, yeah i'm gonna make a honey mint cooler and give it to my lady love um can i make any fun ones Make a charming potion. I already have a spirit. Fl I'll do another spirit flame because I probably will need that. Staying away from The Last of Us until it's fully available over here. Well, don't worry. I don't know what happens in the most recent episode at all. Uh. Oh, listen to that thunder crash. That's exciting. Um, sounds like you've got a very big 1.5 speed day ahead of you. If I can figure out how to watch HBO Max on 1.5 speed, yep. <laughs> but I probably won't. I'll just, I'll just make it work. It's cool. I'm, I may actually dip out of stream early today. Now that now that I'm here and I'm thinking about it, I may dip. I may dip it too. I know I usually I know I usually stay till three, but if if Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur are on YouTube right now, that adds more watch time I gotta get through, and then I watch all the trailers. Should we watch the trailers here? <laughs> Should we take a pause and 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 I just watch and react to all these trailers just to get them out of the way? <laughs> That's the question. Uh Lord, Lord in heaven. Uh oh, hey, give me them pomegranates. Oh, I gotta plant. Gotta plant items now that I got things to plant. I saw you got part of your last video muted. Is that from the lo-fi girl background music? Uh, probably, but I will just tell them that I'm allowed to use it and they'll restore it. I just haven't done it yet. Uh, random, so. And it also happened like during the intermission section of the video, so I'm less like hard up about it. But yeah, it's just, I have to go into like the settings and when I see that, just be like, no, I have permission to use this. And they usually like restore it within like a day or two. I 
because it's happened once or twice before. I don't get a copyright strike for it, so I'm not fucking worried. Uh... Okay. Also, totally watch the trailers on stream. That's straightforward content, and if it helps you, then that's even better. That's true. Um, maybe... When I... When I have successfully dumped Damon as as a, a, a cooldown celebration, <laughs> we can watch the Flash trailer. The what is it? The Flash trailer, the Guardians trailer, and what's the other one? Is there a new Quantum Mania? The Super Bowl trailers. Which ones are there? I don't fucking know. <sighs> It also just so happens I did make a, an, an, a layout for looking at the internet because I didn't know. DMC ABS is so annoying. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sketches also says uh, if algorithms can detect certain music beats, why can't they program a pop up to purchase said music instead of muting the whole damn thing? Yeah, it's just, it, 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 the algorithm tends toward over policing, which is silly, but again, it's, Lo-Fi Girl has offered and done the work to make sure their shit can be used on live streams. Like I always, I always double, triple check in the description that it says so. Um, but yeah, any, any cursory glance of the thing. Also, my friends over on, um, Amateurish often use, like, music they've gotten from, like, Humble Bundle, like, game music and stuff. Am I ready for bed? And I'm sure I could use that as well. Uh. I've only seen one trailer from the latest batch so far, so I can't even remember which one. Yeah, me either. <laughs> it's funny that I have a podcast that talks about comic book adaptations, and I haven't watched any of the trailers from the big game. From the big owl moment. From when we put an owl in a in a in a bowl and ate him? Is that how that works? Delicious owl. <clears throat> okay. We gotta upgrade our wand with Zephyr. Cool. Let's go pet our chickens. Hi! Do you need more shit? Do you need more food? Oh wait, when is, oh. When is Marty open again? I meant to go to Marty's too. Marty is closed on Thursday, so we can go today. <gasps> Give me the eggs. Thanks for the eggs. Hi. I'm just going to pet you all. I don't have food for you. <clears throat> the Guardians 3 trailer might give you trouble given that franchise's penchant for needle drops. Um, I mean... I guess I could always just, like, mute the computer and put on, like, subtitles or something to watch it and then just sort of like give my quick takes about it or something on here gets muted and I don't I'm not mad <laughs> huh? 
Gonna pet my babies. It's my sigh thinking about these trailers. Oh, right, we're on fast time. Uh, we should put ourselves in relaxed mode real quick, because I just realized that today's the day that I gotta, that I'm gonna finally do the things that I'm meant to do. Oh, there's a fast 10 trailer? Fuck yeah! Now that I'm excited for! Shit, yeah! <laughs> that, that series is so stupid. I love it. Sell me seed for my chickies. Thanks. Bye. I'm leaving again. Get fucked, Marty. Get absolutely fucked. Oh, let's go see if there are pearls on the beach as well. Shit's beautiful, pearls on the beach. Oh, shit. Wild that Jason Momoa and Roman Reigns exist in the same universe now. Wait, is Roman Reigns in Fast 10? Holy shit. That's wild as hell. Coconut. Give me a coconut. Roman Reigns was in Hobbs and Shaw. Well, I didn't know who Roman Reigns was when I watched Hobbs and Shaw, so... I didn't know that. Ugh. I don't want to talk to you, Cameron. I guess I will, though. Fuck. Eat shit. Hi, Cameron. What are you reading? Oh, um, the, the Book of the Mind, of course. I just love to sit in this spot. Your book's gonna it's get so wet. Quaint. It looks more like a movie set than the real movie sets from my childhood. Not that I miss Los Angeles. I mean, it's beautiful, but the people here in Fairhaven, they feel more real. What does real I don't really mean? You know what it means to be real? I like the people I've met in Fairhaven so far, though. <laughs> You're right. All I meant was when I was in LA. I felt like there was a big focus on superficial accomplishments, and it's nice to get away from that, is all. I didn't mean to imply judgment of people in LA, or here, or anywhere. People have to walk their own path, wherever they are. All I meant was that out there, I felt like I was all on my own in my search for life's true purpose. It's better to have company on one's journey, don't you think? Not if the company is you. And then he disappeared. And then he vanished suddenly. Ugh. Hate him. Francis, I need your help breaking up with someone. Yeah, I don't like Cameron. I don't like him at all. I don't... I don't appreciate his presence. Even a little bit. Sorry, that was very loud. <laughs> Got real loud when I did that. Okay, let's let's break up with the guy. <gasps> Francis, I tried breaking up with Damon, but he said I needed to see you. Well, A, I can't say I'm terribly surprised. Yours was always a bit of a bird and fish pairing. And B, yes, we do have a formal custom for breakups here. Back when Fairhaven was founded, there was a ship's captain who accidentally romanced a pair of identical twin sisters, believing they were the same woman. Yikes. That sounds messy. Oh, yes, it was. They found out, and... Drama! They made him choose. He felt guilty, so he had a ring made for the one he didn't pick. An unengagement ring, if you will, with a pair of gold wings to symbolize setting her free. That's dumb as shit. Or was she still mad? Oh, honey. She flung that thing into the ocean in front of the whole town. 
and it instantly became a tradition. Whenever anyone breaks up in Fairhaven, the dumper buys the dumpy a copy of that ring. Oh, I guess it's a fair gesture. How much is that going to cost me? Oh, you haven't heard the worst part. Keeping with tradition, the dumped party always throws the ring into the ocean. We believe you won't find new love unless you do. That is nuts. Oh, you don't have to tell me. So much wasted precious metal. Sometimes I comb the beach with a metal detector hoping to score some discarded rings. Yeah, that's... So, are you here for the breakup ring? That's dumb as shit. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. <sighs> yes. I've heard of flushing money down the toilet, but never throwing it directly into the sea. Fine. A small price to pay for freedom, I guess. Here you go. Take the breakup ring to David to become single once more. Thank God. Yeah, I'm never going to try and date anyone. Again, like, I just, I cannot emphasize enough uh, that when I did the date cutscene, I set my controller down to watch it and the wire that's connected pressed on my space bar on my keyboard and it it flew me through the cutscene and then the cutscene was over and it was like, ah, oh, you and Damon are in a relationship now. And I was like, I don't want that. So I just had to, I had to waste a thousand dollars for my mistake. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Where the fuck is Damon? Come here, motherfucker. Let's break up for real this time. Get. I'm sorry. Damon, I have something for you. Breaking up with you right here in the diner. I get it. Okay, well. We can be friends then. Guess I can't call you kitten anymore. See you around. It's weird that you started Ooh, calling girl. me kitten after one after one date. Just call me kitten. The fuck. It's fucked, dude. <sighs> hey Wesley, I got your order ready, same as last week. I don't know where you put it all. <laughs> Or maybe you're making dinner for a special someone? Nope. That really is just for me. Nothing wrong with an appetite. There's nothing wrong with having a healthy appetite, Kim. I've always got some snacks packed in my bag for extra energy. Thanks, Tara. Is it true that sometimes you keep whole containers of soup in there? I know Kim's just teasing me, but... To be honest, I do miss being able to go out to a nice dinner with friends. I look forward to an evening of great food and... Good conversation. Hey, I would be happy to join you for dinner anytime, even if you are feeling a bit fuzzier. <laughs> I might take you up on that. Yeah, we're good friends. Good deal. I only want to date. I only want to date him in wolf form, though. If I'm gonna be honest about it, kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of does it for me when he's a wolf. <laughs> he doesn't do it for me right now. Oh, random Zior says, uh, of course, making it harder to break up with someone traditionally results in a lot more poisoning. So, uh, yeah, that's true. But at least it's done now and I can continue to pursue the doctor as I intended. Every new witch reacts almost the exact same way when they finally get into Ravenwood Hollow. Francis met Aria, and I swear his eyes nearly popped out of his head. Ah, it was the backwards feet, huh? I'm sure it was. I reacted the same way when I met him the first time, too. Dag. Oh, let's chat. Hey, bud. I'm really glad to see you today, Tara. Really? Uh, what's up? Well, I feel like I've gotten to know you a bit over the last few weeks. I've been wondering if you'd be interested in going on a date with me sometime. <laughs> Jesus wept! I just broke up with Damon. I just, I just broke up with Damon. <laughs> what the fuck? Should I go on a date with Kim? I mean. I do like Kim. Kim is definitely like of the ones that I want to date. 
like rock in that like number two slot like i want like i'm into the doctor i'm into amira the most but like also kim we built an onsen together how cool is that i don't know what to say friends help me out should i say great should i say I guess or should i say no way because we just kind of learned a lesson. Because I do want to see a date cutscene, like really badly. Uh, steamy beginnings. Now that I'm single again, maybe maybe this is how I live my polyam lifestyle. Though maybe I just go on one date with everybody and then dip out after date one so we're not in a relationship but like we we tried it out you can't be poly in this game no i don't think so actually i'm gonna i'm gonna double check and see while while i'm thinking about this uh, let's hey let's play some sad lo-fi while we learn if we can be polyamorous in the game wildflowers uh let's pull up the search uh, can you be Polly in? Can you be Poly? Can you be Polly in Wild Flowers game? Google, help me out. Can you have multiple relationships uh, in Wild Flowers? Uh, you cannot date more than one character at a time. All their dat dateable characters will reach maximum level of intimate friend. Uh, if you're re already engaged or married, unless they ask you to dinner earlier in the game and you rejected them, in which uh, case they are limited to being best friends. So, no. That's that's a for sure answer. Uh, so there's that. Um, bye, Lo-Fi. We're gonna we're gonna drop you back again. I just I didn't know how long that was gonna take. Um, I didn't think so. This is why everyone should just play Hades. This is why everyone should just play Hades. Uh, so we gotta decide what direction we're going in on this. Um, I'm gonna say great. I'm gonna do it. Sure, I love that. Oh, I'm so glad to hear it. I'll think of someplace great. Now buy my chickens. Yeah, I'm gonna sell you Marty. I know I'm not getting the most for Marty, but I did just spend a thousand dollars on a breakup ring, so bye Marty. <laughs> I named that chicken after Marty, the rancher. And now it's and now it's t now it's chicken tenders. I've been trying to go to Sophia's diner even more than usual. She needs the support, and the kids love her cooking more than mine. Cool. Let's talk to Kai. Oh, hey. <sighs> Dr. Syed said I had to lay off the diner food and actually start eating vegetables. But it's winter. It's like officially cozy food season. There's nothing cozy about lettuce. There is nothing cozy about lettuce. You're correct. Kai, what's up? If you ever spot a spare coconut on the beach, I would be totally stoked. I get a little homesick sometimes. Oh, I have a coconut. Can I give you a coconut? Can't even give you. F you want a coconut, and I can't give you a coconut. Have some sauerkraut then. Oh, ho, ho, ho. give that right over here. Yeah, I'm good friends with Kai now. Living near an onsen in wintertime is an unexpected delight. I feel like I'm on holiday in Iceland. You're the one that I want, though. Can we just get together already? How's the farm been doing, Tara? It's thriving. It's honestly been great. I think I'm finally coming into my own as a farmer. Oh. 
I'd expect nothing less from you. A strong work ethic runs in your blood. Nice. Okay. Uh, let's look at our tasks. Oh, we. Sh I'm gonna make my way to the fairy zone. That's what I'm gonna do. And give a diamond to Zephyr. Wait, is that open today? Hello? Cool, yeah. No, they're open. So we're gonna make our way that way. Gonna go on the march around. Ooh, actually. <gasps> Shelby! Hold on. I gotta talk to Shelby. So fast. Let's buy things from Shelby. Boom. Perfect. Thanks, Shelbs. Ooh, my fish? Don't have any bait. Oh, right. <gasps> oh, I'm gonna go back to Bruno's shop. I should have bait to carry around for myself. Because I like fishing. I'm just doing some work. Gotta go along to get along. Don't want to be a fish swimming upstream. Ain't get time, baby. Maybe I'll have enough for a whirly gig. I have a letter. I have a letter. Oh, it's probably from Sophia about getting food together for the date. Well, Tara, I heard someone is taking you, taking a special interest in you. Come and see me. Okay, I will. Talk to Sophia about your plans for your date. It's going to date everybody. It'll be awkward forever because we'll all grow old here. All right, to Zephyr. Hey, Zeph. I got shit for you. First, take this. Oh, this will get my gears turning. And then, let's check. Francis scares easy. You're gonna be a witch. You gotta get used to being surprised every now and then. I guess, but nah. Wait. Oh. The fabled wand. What do I need? I need wool weed. I need wool spain. I need a sapphire. Oh. Yep. I'm buying that mining whirly gig. Let's set that shit up. Okay. Can I also buy... Okay. I gotta get pearl powder. Is there a place I can just buy pearl dust? Because finding pearls to grind is just... It's Terribly arduous. Oh, let's chat. Oh, yeah, take that. Keenly done. Thank you. You're welcome. I've been thinking about Hazel. I still expect her to stop by the apothecary. She offered much wisdom for a mortal. 
Ooh, any thoughts on the Nintendo Direct? The Fizz, I do have thoughts. I am so stoked for Pikmin 4. And that's my main takeaway. Everything else, cool, fine. Game Boy, Game Boy Advance stuff, neat. Congrats on your, on your, on your, on your releases. But that Nintendo Direct started and I knew that sound. I knew that Pikmin sound and I was amped hyped even uh was that a help question you can where can i buy pearls my, my hat's falling off where can i buy can i buy pearls from perry uh cause i'm trying to figure out how to get more pearls without having to wait um but yeah i'm very excited for uh pikmin 4 are you kidding me i'm gonna buy that mandrake just trying to stay stocked for mandrakes, you know? Oh, thank you! Buckaroo's gonna drink water and so shall I. Thanks, Z-Roar. Also, also Nightbot said it's time to drink water. I'll drink two water then. Try the jewelry store. Oh, right. That would... Hey, Maggie, that would make sense. Thank you. All about that pick doggo. I'm all about Pikmin in general. I fucking love Pikmin. I played Pikmin 3 and it was the best time. <laughs> I also did do the uh, the mobile game. The Pikmin Go type deal. What is it called? Pikmin fucking... What's it? Pikmin Bloom. That's what it was called. The, the pedometer game where you like would walk around and like collect Pikmin. I played that for a while and then winter happened and I didn't want to walk outside. But now that the seasons are, are warming up, maybe I'll get back to more of that. I want to talk to Ariel. Oh, I love Pikmin. It's so weird. <laughs> it's so weird. I've, uh, I've honestly, I've played Pikmin 2 and Pikmin 3. I didn't play the first Pikmin, but I should. I don't know where that's available to play anyway. Uh, but yeah, I just love like exploring around and throwing Pikmin at enemies. And <laughs> it's very silly. <laughs> I recommend it. So you've added a new witch to your number. Yep. But you're not the smallest hatchling in the nest now. Not anymore. <gasps> your pin feathers have come in. Thanks. I think. Yeah. I'm not the newest witch in the coven. I'm also not the newest baby at wrestle school either. We got new folks coming in to school. And can I just say, they're all amazing. Um, Pikmin's a real neat time, a, a neat real time strategy, but the time limit always stressed me out. Yeah, same. <laughs> I gotta get back to the ship or all my Pikmin are gonna die. It's the best. Give me all your fish. You need... Oh, you... Oh, fine. I'm just gonna have to go buy, like, a hundred bait. You mi is this the mining bot? Oh my gosh, yes. Please go mining for me. Hey, Miney. It's off to work you go. Yeah, Miney. Did you do all of what you're doing already? Okay, you did. Oh, I got these bots rocking. The bots are rocking. For inventory stocking. I think it's cute that Miyamoto came up with the idea for Pikmin while gardening. I didn't know that. It makes sense. Also, like, what I really, what I super enjoy a lot about Pikmin is... Just how lovely the environment is. You're just this tiny little space guy. And everything's so big. You're just so little. I love it. You're so tiny. And I just want to be tiny. <laughs> I just want to be a little guy. I'm just super into it. As in like an environmental thing. I'm going to just buy $200 worth of whatever all of these are and give them to the, the fish guy. The fish bot. 
I've got so much money. Because see previous thing about all the fish. Oh, I should make fish fingers and get so rich. I'm going to get so rich. I also dig it's cute but exists in a post-apocalyptic Earth vibe. Yeah, kind yeah, kind of like the new Kirby. I did try the new Kirby. I tried it on stream, but it wasn't a good stream fit. And then I didn't play any more of it. Kirby somehow became a rage game for me, and I don't know how that's possible. Okay, weird little quarter turn, baby, but you do you. I'm gonna plant strawberries. It's my heart loves strawberries. I'm not crying about strawberries. You're crying about strawberries. Okay, what do I need to do? Okay, cool. So that will return when it's in five days. I'll have things. But I need a sapphire now. How much is Francis selling pearls for? How much do you want for pearls? The way my brother felt about our neighbor, the one who showed him Santeria, I think I get it now. Because that's how I feel about you. Is that a good thing? Until recently, it wouldn't have been. Now, though, it's a compliment. <sighs> We're friends. I'm so glad. I have to sell things? Okay. What can I sell you? I'll sell you the silver diamond ring. Oh, and I've got a lot of silver ingot. I'll sell you like five to start. Okay. Five more. I'll give you like a couple rubies. I'm supposed to do two rubies at a time. Let's go shopping! All right. I'm gonna buy like $500 worth of pearls. Thanks, baby! I finally am now understanding the purpose of shopping! Because I have the money! Because I have the money! make flour. <clears throat> Kirby games always start chill vibes but then get super tough after the first credit scroll. But it can but I can always count on Kirby hitting Gurren Logan vibes with their final bosses. Yeah, I got to say I I like the Kirby games on an aesthetic level, but like the buttons are all different. It, am I correct in that like what I think should be the eat button is the jump button and, and vice versa. And so I always feel like I don't know what I'm doing in a Kirby game because I just like naturally I'm like jump, jump, jump. But it's like, no, I'm eating, I'm eating. So uh, I think I just have to do. Yes, Buckaroo, what do you need? What do you need, baby? Do you need attention? Mew? Meow? Buckaroo's meowing. I can make Buckaroo different animals too, which is neat. Buckaroo could be a raccoon. Or a weird little alien. Or literally a xenomorph. Uh, it's fun. Kirby will be like, having fun in this cutesy world? Good. Now go punch Cthulhu in the face. Yeah, Kirby just feels hard. And maybe I'm just... I'm not worthy of Kirby yet. But I'll get there. Eventually. Keep cat. No enough cats. Cool. Then cat is kept. Yeah. I can also change the cat's color as, as Buckaroo levels up. Which is really, really fun. So Buckaroo can get like wild. <gasps> yeah, challenge Buckaroo. Let's do it. You know what I'm gonna see? I'm gonna let I'm gonna let I'm gonna let I'm gonna let Sketches take this. Who's gonna win? Who's gonna win? Yeah, Zior, get in there. Everybody's picking rock. Who's gonna win? 
Who's gonna win? Who's gonna win in rock, paper, scissors? Do 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 I don't know what it does and you win. I, is it just whoever goes first? I don't know. It's cute though. It's cute. Hold on. I wanna, what, what? What else can Buckaroo do? Just treats, just treats and challenges. But I love it. But I love it. I'm glad Buckaroo's here. Be my little buddy. Be our little buddy. Do y'all get anything for winning? Let me know. <laughs> Sometimes you just try things and you're like, this is neat. Now Buckaroo's here, hopefully to stay. That spinach is ready, too. Oh, I guess we should go talk to Sophia about our date, huh? Okay, that's all done. You know, just run around town. Getting things done. Oh no, this is awkward. Damon's right there. We just broke up with Damon hours ago. And now Sophia's about to do, I heard you got another date. I got your letter. I'll put on a romantic dinner for you and Kim. Just bring me some ingredients. Some mushrooms and a tuna should do it. Oh, I yeah. Mushrooms, I got those. Well, turns out we're also going on a date today, so have let's do that. The ingredients? We do. I sure have. Great. Come to the diner tomorrow night and I'll have everything prepared. So we'll go have a date and actually get to see a date on Valentine's Day. Romance. But I guess we're going to have to decide if we're, if we're going to stick with Kim for the long, the long haul. Because, I mean, I could, I could be convinced to go, to go forever with Kim. And if I don't pick Kim now, then we're just friends forever. So maybe, maybe Kim's just, that's it. Maybe Kim's our person. I just really am in my feels about the doctor, but like we haven't gone anywhere yet. What if the doctor's not into me? I mean, at a certain point, like, she will be because that's how it goes friends through eternity loyalty honesty what is that from what is that from the foods I think I had plants in the gloaming that I forgot to water they're probably dead now Oopsie doodle. Oopsie poopsie. <gasps> They're not dead. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, no, the plant has wilted. Oops. They all died. 
I forgot. Friends Forever by Dragon Sound from the awesomely bad film Miami Connection. I can't recall that song. Bloops. Bloopsie doodle. Oh, I'm so torn. Oh, wait. I'm gonna go back to the fairy zone. Fairy zone, please. Because I forgot to look and see what I needed to upgrade my wand. <laughs> I'm very smart and very beautiful and incredibly talented. But I forgot to make note of what everything is. Uh, to get the fabled one. I need a sapphire. Right. That's what it was. I need a sapphire. I need iron ingot. And lots of pearl powder. Because I need 20 enchanted wire to fix the thing. Thank you for agreeing. Everyone in this chat is beautiful and talented and smart. It's it's true. Only beautiful, talented and smart people come hang out in the in the in the quirky verse. The quirk dimension. Whatever we're calling it. Hey, what was I doing? <gasps> to the mine. I was going to the mine for sapphire. Maybe some uh, ingot for the last whirly gig. All right, we're on a mission for sapphire. Give me a sapphire. Sapphire, please. I'll take sand as well. I always need sand for levitating. Oh no. Hitting a rock. Hitting a rock. I also think I can upgrade my pickaxe and my and my axe axe. A diamond. Do you think there are sapphires down on this level? I don't need them right now. I'm mostly just gonna get through today and then go on that date tomorrow. And then I think we'll I think after our date with Kim when we finally decide. If she's, if, if they are, not, sorry, it's fucked up. Uh, if they are the person for us, uh, so I just don't know. I feel like if I don't know, maybe I shouldn't commit to it, but I also just want to see the cutscene. And we could always break up later. Now that I know how to break up with people. And it's not bad. I just make ten fish fingers and sell them to Sophia. And then I can get another breakup ring. And it seems like they don't harbor judgment for the duration. So that's cool. Oh, thanks, Nightbot. I do do that. Tonight we're actually getting together. If you don't... Hey! If you don't have any Valentine's Day night plans, day or night, uh, I'm over hanging on Amateurish Productions channel. We're playing uh, more of our Mitra campaign, which is currently in Dungeons and Dragons, but swapping over a Pathfinder next month. Uh, but at seven, we're getting together, having a little uh, talk back about what happened last week. <gasps> I want to talk to, wait, did I talk to Kim already? Oh, take that sand. That's ace. Thanks, Tara. No worries. 
that all my sand? Did I just give you all my sand? It's fine. Sand's coarse, rough, and irritating, and it gets everywhere, so I guess I can't be mad about it. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna have a talk back at 7, and then we're gonna start gameplay at 8. So, if you <laughs> are, are feeling like math rocks are the answer, instead, <laughs> instead of dates, <laughs> hanging with your pals, Come hang out with us. We're your pals, too. We make black pudding? Fuck, that's cool. Yeah. <gasps> I'm gonna make so much money. Oh my god, I've got so much cash to throw around. You know what? Fuck it. We're gonna date Kim. Then we're gonna break up with Kim. Then we're gonna end up marrying the doctor. And that's how I'm gonna have it both ways. Oh, I gotta make more flour. Easy. Easy enough to do. Give me that. Make me more. Okay, there's the pearl dust that I need. <laughs> this is disgusting. I should not be allowed to have this much money just through f flour and fish. Seems like it should be illegal, but I'm gonna go with it. This is good. This is too much money. This should not be allowed. Uh oh. The blind cat, a carnivorous cave fish, a rare, a rare one. We'll use the Dorado first. Holy socks. This is, this is too much. This is too much. I shouldn't be allowed. Okay, that's it for now. We'll have to plant more wheat. Who will help me plant the wheat? <laughs> Just me, I plant my own wheat. Hey, I'm a strong, independent femme, and I can plant my own wheat. I'm gonna drink some water. Yeah, cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right. A sapphire. I'm going to try a different level for sapphires and see if maybe I have more luck. Maybe like level 13. Sapphire, baby. I mean, I guess I could always buy a sapphire from Francis if I don't get one here. Well, asked and received. Sapphire baby. Got it. So we can charge up our wand. Go on a date. Live our best lives. Live our best little breakfast lives. As I like to say. What does it mean to live your best breakfast life? I don't know. It's just a fun thing I like to say. I mean, I like to imagine it as like living your best breakfast life is waking up and making the choices you want to make. Or just eating delicious breakfast foods. Both are great. And here, here in the quirk dimension, we love breakfast. What the fuck should I do? Um... 
home. Oh, let's go hang at the coven. See if anything cool is happening over there. Maybe I do want to date Kim forever. Maybe that is the choice. It's crazy that Francis is one of us. Officially. He always brings some good vibes to the party. Breakfast is such a goofy wee cat. No joke. I'm so bummed. Mind that no one finds your sanctum. It'll be hard to explain that before Otto and his neighborhood watch. Correct, Shelby. Uh, what was I going to say? Um, I'm going to just... Actually, we're in slow motion mode. It's fine. I can let time go by. Uh, I was on Pet Finder before I adopted Champo Bampo, uh, my sweet baby boy. And uh, there was a dog up for adoption that was named Breakfast. And that was just like the best pet name I could think of. And I'm so sad. The nights get longer and the wellspring gets harder and harder to balance. It's true. Violet keeps telling me I won't blow myself up. But that's just because she's already so good at everything. Uh, oh, I should fill the wellspring with some with some things. How do you feel? <gasps> I got 69 spinach, and that's so nice. You can't give away that spinach. That's too nice. That's nice. I'll have to give away something else. Uh, got 80 blackberry. How do you feel about taking like a shit ton of blackberries off my hands? Too nice. Anything else that's just like a whole bunch? Ooh, yeah, let's do the shiitake mushrooms. Ooh. But yeah, I was like, I love this puppy. I hope that puppy found a good home. Cause with a name like Breakfast, that's that's the that's that's the shit right there. Francis makes me laugh. Every time he tries out a new potion, he checks with me to make sure he won't poison himself. Aww. I'm glad we've got Francis it's now. It's so fun having Francis in the coven. We need more witches our age. Hell yeah, we do. So we can all finally come out. And stop being secretive. And tell our spouses and our families. And all of our neighbors. My grandma was right. We should just be out already. Damn. Okay. What you doing? Messenger Cameron mentioned that he's running low on candles. He says he writes better sermons by candlelight. God, he sucks. I don't know why you like him so much, Natalia. I don't get why you're in his cult. This is stupid. His whole deal is just bafflingly ridiculous. I wonder who's at the bar. When in doubt, go to the bar. I talk to everybody here, I guess. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Should I sell you, like, I'm going to sell you two apple juice just for fun, because I can. And I'm going to have a mojito. Thanks, bud. Oh, I got slap chips. You get slap chips when you buy booze? That's cool. I love that. Okay. I'm actually going to go to bed. Oh, wait, have I talked to Francis yet? Hey, bud, you going to the bar? Francis has been out late a lot. I went by the pub the other night, but he wasn't there. He said something about taking a moonlight walk on the beach to clear his thoughts. But the wind coming off the ocean is freezing right now. He would never do that. I think he's just avoiding me. He's been acting jumpy ever since Marty's trial. Well, he did exercise a demon out of you, and he's not allowed to tell you that he exercised a demon out of you, and I'm not allowed to tell you that either. And I must again reiterate that I think that is such bullshit.
I cannot state it enough. It's nonsense. I could eat some food to recover. Nah, it's cool. I'm gonna go to. Is it weird to go to bed at eight thirty? Should I go to bed? Yeah, we got a big day tomorrow. A beautiful Thursday. It's date night. We're going on a date with Kim later. How exciting. And I won't fuck it up this time. I promise. Kim, what are you doing here? Hold on. I gotta let me check on some other shit first. Before we are you are you gonna dump me before we actually go on our date? Hey, great news. I sold most of the meat from your animal, but there was some left over. Oh, cool. Here, you can have it. <gasps> Thanks. Yeah, I think that I don't know. I just I really do like the non-binary butcher as our spouse. There are definite choices made by the designers of this game. What do you mean? Like in terms of its like actual design or in its story layout? Yeah, like a non-binary I really like the idea of a non-binary spouse. As as someone who will one day be someone's non-binary spouse. I like it. With the requiring paying to break up with people. Yeah, that's pretty whack. <laughs> and I don't I don't mean to say whack. I know that that's not a word that 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 I crafted or belongs to me. Uh But I think it's apt. And not telling demon possessed people what happened to them. Yeah, it's part of the like we're mysterious witches in a mysterious place. Um, changing the seasons in the shadows, but, uh, what's up, feathers? Should buy another chicken. Yeah, it's, honestly, it's part of the story, though, like, the witches are very concerned. Because, you know, how people have historically treated witches, uh, and how this town is currently treating people they think are witches um that staying in the staying in the cauldron is the right choice to protect ourselves but i think it just causes more problems when you're not transparent you know but i'm hoping that this game as the story goes on we will hit a point where we are free of secrecy i'm sorry i bumped my mic as well uh but, you know, Western storytelling, you gotta have some form of conflict. You gotta. It's the only, it's the only way we, we do it here. In this one? In this world? That's the only way. Give me your fit. Damn, you... you Yeah. Um, take some bait. Take 32 bait. Take 39 bait. 
Take 16 bait. There you go. Keep working. Thanks, fishy. Thanks for all you're doing. Come here. We've got a few minutes before the shops in Ravenswood Hollow open, so let's go forage up in the mountain. Pine cones and pistachios. Blueberries or something. Blackberries? No, blackberries are in the mountain. Are blackberries still blooming? That's a good question. Yeah, they are. Gimme them. Gimme them berries. Oh, I'm so nervous for our date tonight with Kim. Okay, because see, this is this is where I'm torn on all of it. Because I would like to pursue Kim. But I'd also like to pursue the doctor. Now, in the pursuit of Kim comes, I have to lie to them. Hmm. I found something. About <gasps> a recipe. About being a witch. Beef and shiitake. Oh, yum. Beef and shiitake. That sounds delicious. Ooh, I need lunch. Uh... But here's the deal. I don't have to lie to the doctor because we're in the coven together. But is it weird to date someone in your coven? Have we achieved, like, a familial status? Is it a... Mmm, <gasps> vada pav. A Bombay burger. Yum. This game makes me hungry. This game makes me hungry all the time. Because I've kind of had the feels for the doctor since day one. Because, like, she came, she came on to me. She was, like... She was digging on me from, like, moment one. Like, throwing some flirt at me. For sure. Uh, let's upgrade my wand. I can do it now. No, no, no. Fabled wand. Strongest wand known to witches. Ephra can craft it for you if you bring her the needed supplies. Let's do it. <gasps> Neat. And then let's make as many powered, or powered uh, enchanted silver wire as we can. Thanks. What's up? I sure like having a gemstone educated witch around. Francis and I are going to make some beautiful whirly gigs together. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. Being a werewolf is so inconvenient sometimes. Do you know how many vests I've torn while transforming? How many? Several. Hmm. It's hot, though. Hi, Lena. Oh, I guess I'm talking to Perry. It surprises me when Amira stops by the apothecary. But I am glad to see her well. Why does it surprise you when Amira stops by the apothecary? Did you date Amira? Apparently, Juliet is learning French, so now Emmy and Finn want to learn too. This could be trouble. They'll plan their pranks in front of us, and Parker and I will be none the wiser. It's very cute, though. I want them to learn French. I love their pranks. Your kids pull good prank. Have some pine cones. <laughs> Delightful! Thank you! Of course, bud. The new witch who joined your coven. Why does he wear so many clothes? Wesley insists it's comfortable, but how? Because it's warm. Alright, good work, team. Fairy zone, check. Head to the gloaming, find an adder stone. Oh, cool. We can go to the gloaming. Let's go give uh, Damon 
the booze. Any plants done? Anything ready for harvest? No. Cool. Good deal. All right. Damon's probably going to be in the town square. That's usually where I find him. Running around. My ex, Damon. Just leave a string of exes behind. There you are. Take this booze. How's that sweet potato vodka coming, Tara? Here it is. Up to your standards. It sure is. You're a master distiller. Did you use some of the instant brew powder? Yes. I didn't have to wait on the still at all. You know what they say. A watch still never ferments. I'm glad we're best friends. I like, I kind of like in the story of this, like Damon and I like tried and it didn't work. And now we're just like fucking bros. I just wanted to be bros with Damon the whole time. And he like kept flirting with me and I was like, this is weird. But it was like, eh, I'm new in town. I might as well give it a try. I love snowy days. Oh, they are beautiful, right? Yeah. And I just saw Otto eating on some ice outside of town hall. <laughs> Perfect. I mean, I guess I dated Damon, so, like, dating a witch isn't so bad. Wow. I guess it's not the most trouble in the whole world. Oh my gosh, Sophia, I can make so much money from you today. Let me sell you all my fish fingers. How's your farm? It must be so hard to work outdoors in this weather. Come see me if you ever need a cozy break. Will do. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> I'm never going to need money again. I mean, I'll probably need money again. But I won't need money for a while. I still feel terrible about what happened to Sophia. But I was told not to get too swept up in community dynamics when I got this grant. Makes sense. Okay, bye, Giva. Hey, Kai. Talk to Kai, too. Everybody gets... Everyone Dr. gets talking to you. can hang, brah. She totally fixed my shoulder uh, and my ankle and my wrist. But, like, those are all completely different times. Hi. Thank goodness you're here. Oh, it's been a quiet day today. Actually, what does it say in our profile with uh, Kim? It says we're intimate friends still. So I'm guessing that will change after a date. Actually, while we're here, let's see what we say to our grandmother. I miss you, Grandma. The mines are even colder than usual this time of year. Make sure you bring some nice warm snacks. Okay. To the gloaming. But first, talking to Parker. I've been practicing my harmonica lately. Maybe next time we have a wedding on the island, I can provide Juliet's guitar some accompaniment. <gasps> I'd love that. When I marry someone, I want that. So you better, you better keep friggin' working on that. Ooh. Foraged. Mines get cold? That's interesting. I would never thought... I would have thought they'd be somewhat insulated. Um. I mean, I guess. But there's also. Like, I'm sure in the winter the ground gets cold. And so, like, that cold sort of radiates all through. Maybe. 
Fabio asked if he could come visit. I think he wants to see the Wellspring for himself. I'm sure he wants to see you too, Francis. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm ready for that yet. Maybe someday. Families are complicated, aren't they? <laughs> Oof. Take that. Oh, wait. We go this way. I forget. I get a little lost in the gloaming sometimes. And that's dangerous. You shouldn't get lost in the gloaming. But I just wanted this wolf's bane. Hmm. Google says coal mines are at least a constant... 50 to 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Well, Natalia's a, f a liar who lies. Though, 50 degrees is pretty cold. Oh, smash it. <gasps> what was that? I think it was the gloaming reacting to my magic use. We should be fine. I just wonder how many times the gloaming can handle one of us doing something like that. Is that? Yes. Shelby is the most talented farseer I've ever known. But he isn't the only one on this island. Mama had the sight. And she dreamed that Shelby would come to us one day. My abuela could see the future? That gift skipped me. But maybe we'll come to Violet or Bastian in time. Yeah. That hasn't happened. <gasps> Do you think Bastian will be a little witch? I'm gonna catch some gloaming fish. For my potions. For my potions. Oh, thanks, Nightbot. I'm out of water, though. Have to take a second and get more. <gasps> Lena said that the adder stone would be inside one of these, but which one? My time to shine. Let me take a look. I think it's that one. How can you tell? They all look the same. There's a legend about adder stones. They're usually made of a glass. Sorry. I'm, I'm redeeming a stretch for myself using my own points. Have you Because I want to stretch. No, but the strangest people come oh. through jewelry repair shops in the city. And you remember all the odd things they say. Anyway, I could be wrong. But that rock has more specks of flint in it than the other. Let's check it out. <clears throat> Break open the rock containing the adder stone. Confirm. <gasps> there it is. I'm certain that's an adder stone, but what about the other thing? That? It's a keystone. I don't know how it got here, but we can use it to travel to other parts of the gloaming. Whoa. Wait until I get this under my loop. I wish you could, but we'll have to turn it over to Lena straight away. <laughs> it's annoying or it's necessary? I'm going to say it's annoying. High priest disorders, blah, blah, blah. Yes, there's more hierarchy in this coven than I'd expect. Let's get out of here. As miraculous as it is, my brain is overwhelmed. This island was a popular port for pirates and smugglers back in the day. I bet there's at least one sunken ship under those waves just full of golden gems. All right. Oh, I gotta refill my magic in the wellspring. Fine, I'll use the spinach, even though it was nice. Take all that spinach. It's cool. You deserve it. Okay. Magic refilled. All right. I 
am going to put the setting back to normal. Because I do want to get to date night. Hi, Shelby. So Marty and Otto were plotting to turn this place into a resort this whole time? Huh. Seems that way. Don't suppose I would have been allowed to keep my cabin out here if they'd had their way. Yeah, that would have been bullshit. Would you like some cabbage soup, Shelby? To keep you warm. Why are you so kind to old Shelby? Thank you. I love you, Shelby. I love you lots. Let me buy all your things. Thanks! Now what time can I go do dinner? For a romantic dinner with Kim. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. these tasks oh I should make more uh, iron ingot with a uh, oh blacksmith's closed on Thursday I forgot I got something for Sophia 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 oh, you shouldn't have does anybody get that reference Are you going Sophia Sophia Fish are my kindred Yeah, I know. Fish are your kindred spirit. Um, give me more bait, please. Cause I like fishing too, but I like having bait to give to my little guys. To my hungry guys. Uh, for anyone who was wondering what I'm talking about, going, Sophia, Sophia. In an episode of The Golden Girls, the greatest television show to ever uh, occur in the history of television, um, fight me on it, uh, Sophia Petrillo, the matriarch of the four, uh, definitely, like, she's Dorothy's mother, and she's sort of like, the like a source of sage wisdom and advice and funny stories and stuff but in one episode she decides that she's gonna do like a run like a charity run uh and she's talking about her experience and about how she was like running out of steam uh and then it and then suddenly she like feels like she could do it Ooh, i'm gonna make I'm gonna make Essence a Joy, actually. Um, and she's regaling this, and then she's like, and I hear the crowd chanting, Sophia, Sophia, Sophia. And then I hit a wall. And then Dorothy's like, oh, you, oh, you ran out of energy. Cause like when runners hit the wall, they, they like, that's it. That's their whole, they did it. They're out of energy, they're done. Sophia goes, no, I ran into a wall. <laughs> Please watch the Golden Girls. Please do it. That's all I ask. I think about that show, like, a lot. Also, another great Sophia moment that I often, like, find myself uh, contemplating is when she writes a parody of Thanks for the Memories, but it's about medicine. She goes, thanks for the Medicare for Blue Cross and Blue Shield for a hip that finally healed. Remember on prescriptions, generic is a steal. We thank you so much. And I fucking love that. I sang the whole thing for you. I didn't, no one had to use a chant me or anything. Um, and then the girls are like, that's depressing. 
<laughs> she says all of you go to hell. Uh, uh, <laughs> I just, oh, it tickles me so much. Oh, I just, I just love that show. Rand of Year says I grew up watching that show and I have next to no memories of it. Ooh, friendo, I. You know, I'm you know I'm let time run. It's cool. I gotta go on a date anyway. Um, I hit the time of television where Lifetime Television for Women, uh, the channel had acquired the syndication rights for uh for the show and so my experience was I would come home from school and I do my homework and then at four o'clock Lifetime would have two back-to-back -back episodes of Designing Women and then at five o'clock it would have two back-to-back -back episodes of The Golden Girls and that was my two-hour television block. I'm sure other kids are watching like the cartoon blocks at that time you know living for your Power Rangers, your Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, your Freakazoids, whatever was on, you know. But I was, I was down in Miami with four older ladies living the single life. Francis is worried that I'm going to accuse him next. But that's just foolish. Just because his brother is a witch doesn't mean that he is. I'm the last person who would judge someone because of their family. But you're the first person who would judge Marty. Know that by now. But he's a witch. I'm sorry to tell you. Is it daytime? Is it daytime yet? Can we go on date? Yeah, I think it's daytime. Uh. Ugh. They're so they're so good. I love that show so much. So yeah, that's what I did. Uh, Dixie Carter, one of my favorite designing women wrestling promotion owner. Dixie Carter owned a wrestling promotion. Excuse. No way. No freaking way. Oh, I think about the the night the lights went out in Georgia monologue a lot too. Uh, iconic. I should have rewatched it. I feel like designing women. It, it like it wasn't my it was my jam, but it wasn't like my jam jam. You know, it was like. The show I watched because it was on in the same like time that I was watching TV. So I was like, yeah, I'll just watch Designing Women. But I don't remember that one as much as I remember the Golden Girls. Like I can just like recall situations with the Golden Girls. Like the one where they all wore the same dress. Uh, also Justice for Coco. I, I get why Coco didn't make it through the pilot. But I am sad that they didn't have Coco. But Sophia was more the Coco that was needed. Um, I was apparently six when the Golden Girls ended. Never caught in syndication. Yeah, I was uh, I was watching in syndication in like the early the late nineties, early two thousands. Um, so I was alive when it first aired. I'm pretty sure because it was like the eighties, and I was born in the late eighties. Uh, I think it was still on. 85 to 92. Yeah. So it had, it had been on for a couple years um, when I was born. Um, so yeah, it kicked, it kicked around like that. Uh, it, it's like that. But I watched it on syndication. Um, yeah, it was so good. Oh, is it daytime? I think it's daytime. Uh, unless I have any more Golden Girls thoughts. I mean, I have a lot of Golden Girls thoughts. <laughs> Actually, but because the internet was becoming a thing around the time that this was being syndicated, I remember Lifetime had a lot of like content on its website for the Golden Girls, and they were like the quizzes. And I remember taking the "Which Golden Girl Are You" quiz. Um, and I'll give you all a second to guess uh, which one Little Me got uh, in this quiz. I remember Lifetime ran Golden Girls about as much as Nick runs Spongebob. Yeah, they were about it. And I'm not surprised because that fucking show. Blanche. Uh, okay, we have a Blanche. 
Any other guesses? I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say the answer. Uh is it Nick Brown SpongeBob? Um I will say I have done not one but two Golden Girls themed burlesque shows. And I also did a number as the character who whomst I was named uh, most like in the Lifetime website quiz. Uh, so we've got a Blanche. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a a, 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 a countdown from ten, a ten, a nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ding ding! Guessing's over. It was a Rose freaking Nyland. Uh, my Rose, oh, my Rose Nyland act. I, I'm going to do this real quick and then we're going to go on this date. My Rose Nyland act was making the St. Olaf care package. Um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm a Rose Nyland at heart. I know I'm like so sexually charged these days, but I'm still Rose Nyland. I'm big. I'm a, I'm a big Midwestern puppy dog, um, full of stories, bad stories also, <laughs> Um, but yeah, so there's, there's a section of time where Rose is working as a candy striper for the hospital. And one day she makes the traditional St. Olaf get well package, which comes with, um, a, a pack of gum. Uh, oh gosh, it comes with a gum, something and a sock puppet. And I did a little like changing from tradition i did a strip reverse strip so changing from a traditional like rose looking outfit with like a big a big blonde wig um into the candy striper look which i made a custom uh apron for and then i and then i built the traditional saint olaf care package on stage and gave it to an audience member (laughs) i would bring that act back are you kidding how sweet what a sweet little number i did what a sweet little person is rose island let's go on this date Sophia, it smells amazing in here. I'm not going to press the space button. Tara, I've always been kind of a blunt person, and I don't know how to dance around things, really, so I'll just say it. My road to self-acceptance was long, but I'm there now. I really like who I am, and I like you. I feel something happening between us. But if you don't, I'm, I'm cool either way. I just want you to feel free to be upfront with me about how you feel. Oh, we got to answer the question. I think I want to say yes. I think I want to say yes, I feel the same way. Because, like, I, I honestly, like, when we first met Kim, they came off as, like, really prickly and kind of brusque. And, and I just, I just figured that it would be a long road to get to Kim. But here we are. Kim is in front of us. Just, just a them stand in front of a me asking them to love them. And because if I pick, because if I pick Kim now, we're going all the way. The doctor's out. Kim is in. But is that right? The road to love is very bumpy and full of winding paths and, and, and we move in ways we didn't expect. And I thought the doctor was going to be my end game, but Kim got there first. And sometimes it's who gets there first. That seems cynical, though. Oh, I'm, I'm racked. I'm racked. Counterpoint. Kim has a facial piercing. Mm. Also, I'm such a little punk baby. A non-binary... B- I'm I'm convi- I'm sitting here in front of you on this beautiful Valentine's Day convincing myself to, to marry Kim. <laughs> We're doing it. I feel the same way, Kim. I've been trying to figure out how to tell you. I'm excited. Yay! <laughs> Maybe I really am a matchmaker. Oh, I love love. Dinner for two. Task complete. 
Tara and Kim are dating. Hooray! I can always go back. I can always, if if it doesn't feel right, if it feels like I'm still I'm still jamming on the doctor, we can always break up with Kim. I've got so much money. <gasps> Thomas, I have not seen you in fucking forever. I'm never selling my farm, but right about now, I don't blame my mom for joining the rest of our family back at the res in Milkwater. When people in Fairhaven go stir crazy, it's next level. Okay. Now we've got to give Lena that thing. And then we should be ready to change the seasons back to spring. I mean, we did build an onsen together, me and Kim. Couple, couple little babes in love built an onsen together. That's cute as fuck. We did it. We found the adder stone and another keystone too, which Tara tells me is a big deal. Oh, thank you both from the bottom of my heart. Initiate, you did wonderfully. I'm grateful you chose to stay with us. Look, I still have reservations, but this gloaming place. It's amazing. The Adder Stone isn't all we need to turn the seasons, right? Because I have this sneaking suspicion that it requires more ingredients. That's correct. Could you gather the rest of them? Of sure. course. Everyone else is stretched thin right now. Not as thin as before, but no, the path ahead isn't easy. Now that you've found this keystone, you can enter the next section of the gloaming, which is perfect. You'll need to tap the Dragon's Blood Tree, which can only be found in that area. Tap the tree... Place a bucket under the tap, and if you leave it for a few days, the bucket will fill with dragon's blood. That's metal. It's just tree sap, to be clear. This coven does not endorse gathering any actual blood. The herbalist will accompany you as usual. I'll have this done in no time. Okay. Uh, task. Uh, you've been rewarded with ten levitation. Uh, tell the herbalist you're both headed back to the gloaming. Okay, hold on. First, I'm going to talk to Lena. Because Lena's got a dialogue up. Oh, that's for that. Cool. Hey, hey, let's go back to the gloaming. I heard you and Francis got another keystone. Killer work. I'm so proud of him. And you know me. I'm ready to go back into the gloaming whenever. Let's go. I'm ready now. <laughs> Sweet. I went on a date. Let's do it. Maybe with the person me I'm going to spend the rest of my life with. Always going farther than before. We'll be careful. We like... Invented careful. So, what are we looking for anyway? Dragon's blood, apparently. From the dragon's blood tree? Does that sound familiar to you? Whoa, yeah, it does. I remember my mom telling me something about the first time she saw a dragon's blood tree in the gloaming. I hope she told you positive things because we have to tap that sucker. Find the dragon blood trees in the gloaming and tap them to get dragon's blood sap. Cool. Francis is such a warrior. Like, you'll be fine. Just breathe and don't turn yourself into a toad. <laughs> Magical blast! Looking around for a dragon's blood tree. <sighs> this barrier is too strong for me or Violet. Hmm. Could probably take this on. Yeah, take that. Oh! Yes! I knew we were gonna find another. By now, Antonio's probably noticed I'm gone. I haven't come up with a good excuse yet. He senses my magic, even if he doesn't understand it. <sighs> he never asks too many questions, but I've been stepping out late at night a lot more lately. He knows now, that's for sure. Those messages about mom and me in the woods, wearing our robes and masks, that's how Otto won the election. Did I ever tell you that? My dad had to drop out of the race after someone started blackmailing him about us being witches. <gasps> I still don't know who sent them. Violet, that's so messed up. Yeah. I try not to think about it. It's so deeply fucked. I bet it was Vanessa. I bet she'd blackmail someone to give her husband power. I'm all out of magic. Oh, right. Uh, wait. Where's my magic? Where can I restore? 
Constant struggle to, to open places. <gasps> Are you a dragon blood tree? Oh, I need sp uh, I need a spile. Okay, but now I can get here. Tap any of these friggin' trees. I'm gonna blast this with magic too. Suck it. If I'm here, might as well. Boom. Okay. This section of the going <gasps> What? Oh! Oh, I was worried we'd found them all. Damon. <laughs> Damon doesn't like to show off, but he's one of the smartest kids on this island. He could go away to college if he wanted. Join some city coven, but ever since his family moved here, he fit right in, just like a puzzle piece, <laughs> snapping into place. Aw, Damon, my ex. A sweet friend, indeed. My best friend. Oh, oh did you find another one? Let me see. Bastian is still too young to realize he has the gift, but he does. I can tell. Knew it. If I don't make it back, someone has to nurture him, or those gifts may never show themselves. He's more sensitive than he lets anyone see. I knew it. I knew Bastian was going to be a little sweet baby witch. Okay, cool. So I got to make a bunch of spiles for the dragon blood tree, which is cool. Let's get out of here. Progress. We've done it. Now we're going to run home. Go to bed. Um, and y'all tell me. Uh, do you, do you want to watch the the three trailers before before I get out of here? Because uh, I can. I think I've got the ability to toss those up. Right here at the at the end point. Um, I might as well just go to bed. It's nine. Oh, wait. What's up? Oh yeah, take those. Ah, thanks. I needed this. Cause I do ha I do have to leave uh, shortly to go watch the latest episode of The Last of Us before meeting with Scott to talk about it for the podcast. I'm such a busy little bean all of the time. <gasps> yeah, treat for Buckaroo. Uh, more or less, just listening while playing. Uh, animal. Wait, AC Odyssey. AC. Time for bed. Yeah, treats for Buckaroo. Yes. Aw, Buckaroo loves it. Buckaroo loves to eat snacks. Assassin's Creed. Cool. <laughs> it's like AC. Animal Crossing Odyssey. Uh, okay, cool. Get out of that game. All right. Let me. <gasps> oh, water buckaroo. I, I also should drink water, but I'm out of water. Okay. I'm going to take like five minutes and pull up the internet um, and grab some water and then we'll just, we'll watch these trailers and then we'll, and then we'll call it. All right. I'll be back. In a second.
Okay, I am uh, back, and I'm gonna while the while the this plays. Um, can I? Looking up the Super Bowl trailers for uh, Ant Man. Okay, and the Flash Super Bowl trailer. I'm just typing them in, and then I'm gonna. Cool, and then also, uh, what was the last one? Guardians. Uh, Guardians. Guard. The ends of the Galaxy 3 trailer. Just from a day ago. Okay, cool. So we'll do... Let's do the Flash first. Because I'm not excited about that one. Uh, Alright. Here's the internet page. Cool, cool, cool. Voila, the internet. There she is. There's the whole internet. I'm in, I'm in incognito mode, so this should be fine. Um, the three minute long trailer? Is that the one? Yeah, that's from a day ago. Okay. Let's do it. Hold on. Did... Did the Flash just cry, you stole my face? What the fuck? Okay. Okay. All right. It's, it's, it's a movie. Uh, I... Again, this is this is why I'm not like a big trailer person because I'm just like, okay, Affleck's here and so is Keaton. Um, it looks like they've made emaciated government experiment Clark and Dakara from Flashpoint. Yeah, yeah. I mean, cool. I can't believe that car looked so bad. That car, like, where's that car again? Um, that was just like flipping around. Yeah, I'm Batman. Oh, I've, oh, the fanboys love it. This car looks awful. That looks so, so bad. Like, why does that car, why does that car look so bad? Why does it look like a video game asset? Okay, cool. We, we good job, team. We did it. The Flash. It's a movie. It's happening. Um, if I do this, okay, cool, cool, cool. Um. Oh wait. Which one of these is the right one? The final. This is why, this is another reason why I don't like trailers. Because, like, <gasps> thank you for the nom noms for my kitty, my my pet. Because I don't know which one's the right one. Is it the one that's three minutes or is it the one that's one minute? I'm going to say this one from two days ago. Because I think this is the one that just, like, explained everything. Yeah, that's the one that just explained everything. Okay, cool. Let's do this one. Oh. Wow. 
It's a, a ad. Sorry, everybody. Ignore the ad. Oh my god, stop it. You play- I, f I fucking hate YouTube. Eat shit, YouTube. You piece of garbage. Nobody likes you. It's like, I played an ad for for you watching an ad. Would you like to would you like to be extorted for $15 a month to not look at ads anymore? A lot has changed about my life. We literally saved the world. Okay. But right now, the only job I want is being a dad. Scott Lang, do you want to get out of here? Scotland, do you want to get and out of here? I need to get out of here. Bring me what I want. What's that? I've seen this one. Trust him. I don't care who this guy is. Did we see this I one? I just lost so much time. Okay. Uh, it's the... But this one's from eight days ago. Which is the one that played at the Super Bowl? Can anyone... Can someone just, like, DM me a link for that one? Trailers are stupid. Okay. Yeah, can I just look at the ones from Marvel Studios? I'm gonna tell you something. I'm Star Lord. Uh huh. I formed the Guardians. Okay. Met a girl, fell in love. That girl died, but then she came back. Came back a total dick. Okay. I feel like I, w I definitely saw most of that section right there in like the in like a Twitter feed and it was like playing on silent. So I guess that's the sound that 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 makes. Uh, cool. Uh, I'm just maybe I should mute it. I'm going to mute it for y'all because I'm scared to get a copyright strike because now there's just music playing. Sacred, okay. To create the perfect society. All right, We're making a perfect society. He didn't want to make things perfect. He just hated things the way they are. Yeah, this is a lot of music. I do like how colorful this is, though. I'm sick of fake sets, though. I want you all to know that I am grateful. To fight beside my friends. Jack is going to die. Is that... <laughs> Gift grew a lot of guys. We're always searching for a family. Until we found each other. Are you ready? For one last ride? Fly away together into the forever and beautiful sky. Everybody's gonna die in that one, and they, in they. Whoever it was that you were in love with, it sounds more like her. Her? That's Do ridiculous. not bring me into this. No, really. <laughs> Knock it off! What? Just never noticed how black your eyes were. They were replaced by my father as a method of torture. He he picked a pretty set. No. Oh. Yeah, this is Super Bowl Marvel Space. Yeah, I it's just I'm over it. You know? Like Look at this. Look at this. Why? Is this real? This doesn't look real. I wish it was real. I hope Quill bites it. Yeah, I hope they all bite it. I'm not gonna make I'm not gonna make any more of these. I might as well just kill them all. Make them all. Make them all go out of here. Look. This looks great. This I love. 
give me like some bold freaking outfits, but like the background looks trash. Looks like just worm, worm food, worm food. Yeah, Rocket Mantis group, Groot and Adam. That's it. But look. Also, uh, the dog. Give me the dog. <laughs> Do you hear this? I'm playing with my uh, my thing. Ugh. Well, there's that. Okay. Now, was there a Super Bowl trailer for Ant Man? Was it this one? I don't remember. I just feel like yeah, Cosmo. Cosmo the the dog. I love that dog. Well, I'd like to say that I am remotely excited for any of these. Um but I'm fine to be to be honest. I'm going to pop the lo-fi back on cuz we did it. We did, we did my homework assignment together for the Infinity Podcast, and you can tune in when I get that edited, hopefully today, uh, and hear me continue to just be like, I don't, I don't understand trailer hype, or, it's mostly just trailer hype for shows that I already know exist. Like, the, tra the trailer for Del Toro's Pinocchio was really, really cute because it was a real nice vibe check. But I don't need a vibe check on these big superhero blockbusters because they're all just going to superhero, blue and orange palette, muddy, terrible background their way through, through life. Like, I don't need your vibe check for these, like, at all. Um... <laughs> I'm sorry that like th th that's I just I, I, we did that together uh, and that's what happened um, but yeah I don't know is anybody is anybody in chat really excited for these at all like these three in particular I know sketches you said you were excited for Waller and Swamp Thing and, and all of that but I don't know I I'm kind of I'm a little sad that we're pulling Michael Michael Keaton out for this like flashpoint. Just Guardians. Yeah, just Guardians. And even then it's just like I wish that they went more in the vein of putting these characters in on sound stages. I just miss sound stages or even that like immersive like thing that they put Star Wars in where it's like all projected all around yeah I would be more excited for Kang if I hadn't already met Kang and Loki you know like I already get his vibe and his whole deal so I'm not really accessing new information and that trailer for Ant-Man that last one just really is like the whole plot oh Scott it's me Kang you're trapped here let me out betray your family Oh, Scott, I can't believe you've done this. Oh, we're gonna fight, you know? I haven't liked any of those Ant-Man films so far, and Paul Rudd was my hope for Scott Lang. I See, I liked the Ant-Man movies, but I like them best when it's just like, this guy is just like, I guess I'm a superhero now. Oops, who knew? Yeah, whatever. Um... Yeah, it's just kind of, that's kind of where I sit on it. And now it just feels like we're making Scott Lang a big deal. And he has to go up against essentially what our next Thanos is going to be. And I don't know. I like it when it's just like, I got to do a heist. Uh, Bobo's looking forward to Guardians 3. I will say, though, I think Volume 3 looks a bit dull visually when compared to Volume 2. Yeah, just, like, it doesn't look as good. It doesn't look as... Like, that one shot of the five of them in their little spacesuits was, like, the most it seemed to look exciting and vibrant and colorful and cartoony.
yeah, I'm sorry to be a curmudgeon about it. Because I'm, I'm excited to see the performance that Jonathan Majors is going to give. Because I thought his, his performance in Loki was a standout. But I don't know how different this particular version of this particular character is going to be. I'm also, I'm also, uh, to go back to sort of like the flash of it all, I'm just kind of exhausted with multiverses. At this point, I'm done. Every, everything Everywhere All at Once clinched it, and I don't think any movie should try and do a multiverse for like another 10 years. I said what I said. I said what I said. Uh, I meant it too. Um, go watch everything everywhere all at once. Uh, three times for each of these weird movies that their entire purpose is to make as much money as possible. Vibe Check for Kang is Imagine Doctor Doom was Doctor Who, but more Machiavelli. But yeah, no, but like, we've already gotten Jonathan Major's vibe. Like, w the performance that he gave in Loki is the vibe check that I'm carrying. So. I can pull Marvel weapons out of pocket portals. Congrats to Kang. Good job. You did it, bud. Um, yeah, they really went hard and fast on the multiverse. Kind of diminishing returns at this point. Yeah, I'm just not... It's not... The shine is off the apple of the multiverse situation. And, it's, and especially since it feels like... And I do have to go, because I have other, other bits of research that I need to get involved with before getting on for recording. And I should probably eat some food. But, like, it's just... We're using the multiverse in cinema to play around with actor casting and that just feels like we're parading old things that we like like oh remember how much you loved michael keaton as batman let's get nuts let's let's do it again once more once more you know and and while i really enjoyed no way home it's kind of the same deal remember how much you love toby Maguire? well we got the budget we got him back. Uh, and it just feels like that's the whole purpose to like feed our nostalgia. And I'm not interested in that. I am interested in moving forward and doing new things. Like the only thing I'm excited for in like the DC slate of things is it sounds like everybody's getting recast and I'm literally so for that. I'm so for that. Just like clean break, call it off, get some new get some new fresh meat in there. Go. Uh they could have just microcosmosed everything, have a magic arc, military spy tech war stuff and space side by side but separate. Yeah, microcosmed like Yeah, I just, I think that the only thing that is keeping these kind of franchises afloat is that they are big, they are big money draws. And the only thing that's going to end them is like when we are stop, when we stop seeing them. But they've become such a monoculture in and of themselves that we're all going to see them. Like, I'm just sitting here going like, do I actually want to see The Flash or Ant-Man or any of them and I go I guess I I kind of have to for this for this show that I do but I've hit a point where if it wasn't for the infinity podcast I might I might sleep on these but that's where I am and that's that's my fatigue showing but I hope everyone else is looking forward to things and has joy in their heart still I have joy in my heart for dating non-binary butchers and for wrestling and for uh, the new Rebecca Black album. These are the things I have joy for. 
Um, and that, and that's where I'm gonna leave it. Go listen to the new Rebecca Black album. It's, it's. I've listened to some of it, not all of it, and I think it is a delight. Uh, but I think that's gonna do it for us today, because to see all the things that I gotta watch um, for homework. It, I also think maybe because all of this stuff has now become homework, it's really tough to get through. Uh, anyway, um, uh, do the do the things. Uh, if you're if you're new here, give me a follow. Uh, if you're new here, I got pods. If you're new here, I play actual pay actual play on amateurish productions. Um, and soon I will also be playing as part of um, a Tale of D20's second uh, season called Descent into the Void. More on that as it comes. And uh, if you wanna if you wanna see footage of my body at having been taken over by the spirit of a of a burlesque dancer who wants to wrestle, uh, you can follow Charles Stunning. I'll put that in the chat real quick. Um, like this. Yeah, you can follow her. She's pretty cool um, and does weird stuff. She's on Insta and Twitter uh, doing the that. Um, so that's it. Um, as always, uh, live your best breakfast life. Uh, be kind to one another, and I'll catch you in 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 the next in the next stream T tomorrow for for something wrestling related. I don't know what. All right, bye. I have to look over here to put on the thing to go bye 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 for real. <laughs>